It's a good idea to have an understanding when you view a topics page. There are ways to filter the messages so you only see topics that have been unread. You can also search the topic by entering some keywords to quickly find the post. If you, don't, if you do not understand the structure of the discussion tool in my courses, you should review the tutorial about this subject. I'm going to click on the Submission Review tab, click on Discussions. I'm going to click on any name of a topic. So now there's a number of things on the Topics page that are very useful. In the upper right hand corner, you have a search. So if I wanted to search for some, you know, just for something that I know that a student wrote, I could put in there, for example, some keywords or, you know, a word or keywords. I can hit the search icon or hit the enter key and it will give me a filter of that. What's nice about this search is that it not only will search the topic uh, titles, but it'll also search the text, the messages, uh, the, the, the text in the body of the message. I'm going to go ahead and clear the search on that. You have a subscribe or unsubscribe link. This allows you to subscribe or unsubscribe uh, to the topic by clicking on it. So if I click on it, I can go ahead and subscribe. I can click on it and I can go ahead and unsubscribe. Once again, just clicking on that and so on. Underneath of that is a hide description. So the description is the question or instruction prompt that the students use um, to, to know what they're supposed to do within the topic discussion. So I can show that or hide that. So if I want to just get myself some real estate, that's one way of doing that. Putting your mouse directly over the, the description and just clicking on the left mouse button allows you to quickly edit the description and then update that very quickly in case you need to add anything or take anything away. The start a new thread button allows you to start a new thread um, to the topic. You have a filter by and you can click on filter by on red and this will allow you to see only the unread post very quickly and click off of it. Flagged allows me to see any topics that I, I mean, any threads that I have um, flagged. The sort by uh, is a wonderful drop down list that allows you to quickly sort the entire threads by a number of choice choices. The default sort is the newest thread. And if you change the sort the next time you enter the thread, the My Courses will remember the, the sort you last chose. So you'll see I can have most recent activity, least recent activity, uh, author first name, author first name A to Z, last name, do ratings, and I can even do subject. If I want to see what's the least activity going on, I can see that there's not many replies and maybe something's going on in that. So this filter allows you to very quickly um, the sort by allows you to very quickly sort a whole slew of threads so you can see what, what's going on inside of that. Now within each thread there's a number of things that you um, that important information is provided. Underneath the thread you'll see for example the name of the, the, the student who started the thread and when that thread was posted. Next to that you're going to have a subscribe and unsubscribe link. And again, clicking on this allows you to subscribe and unsubscribe to the thread. So not only can you subscribe to a topic, which would, which would allow all the threads to be subscribed, you can subscribe to individual threads also. If you allow ratings, uh, you're going to see the average rating that will be displayed. Another thing that's really nice underneath of there is to see how many unread posts there are, how many replies, and how many views. This gives you an idea quickly of what activity is going on inside each individual thread. It also is a way for you to click right on that unread and immediately go to that only unread post within that thread. Across from that you'll also see the last, um, the name of the student who last posted and the time uh, since they have posted and that's displayed. Finally, to navigate back to the discussions list, you click on the discussions list breadcrumb link.